Are you thinking about getting a Louis Vuitton Keep All 50 just like this one? Well, I've had this for 13 years and a little bit more and I'm going to show you how good of an investment it is and how much this bag has worn and if there are any signs of wear and tear after more than a decade of use. If you're new here, welcome. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If anything, just subscribe so you get to see cameos in all my videos from this one. That's B. Fluffy was here. She is in this video, so keep watching. I didn't know you were behind me. Have you been there the whole time? Oh, here she is. Come on. Come on, baby. Hello. Yes, oh no. Oh. I love you. Oh, you don't love me. Okay, 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 okay. Off you go. Oh, sorry. And then they like walk off and they lick like the spot that you touched. Like, how dare you touch me? I've just been cleaning there. <sighs> Comment down below if your cat does that. Ah, uh, yes, so anyway. That is B. That was Fluffy and I'm Samantha. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel, rather. <laughs> I'm the host, they're the stars of the show. No, but really, they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cinematic mode hides all my baby hairs. But let's get into the video. I bought this bag in, I think, August of 2009. I think that's right. So I got this in Melbourne in the Collins Street store with the intention to use this for plane travel mainly. So as a carry-on bag, uh, basically it has held up amazingly and I have used this a lot. I've taken this overseas, interstate, on weekend trips. So we're going to start off with showing you just like the general condition in here so I'm, I'm using the packaging the air bubble they call this sealed air I think what I will do first is I will show you just generally how it is and then we'll get into any specifics we'll start off with the canvas this is a condition it's in amazing condition really it's very, I mean, I've cleaned it periodically, but not like religiously for, like I don't clean it every time I use it, that, that, that kind of thing. I do give it a wipe over once in a while to dust, for like to get rid of dust. <laughs> but generally, like on the corners, it's worn really well. I have once or twice checked this in as checked baggage because it was too heavy and they wouldn't let me take it on. So I was a bit nervous about that. But all I did was take this out, put it inside and use the, the little holder thing that comes with it. It appeared at the other end. It was fine, intact. The only time that was a bit stressful is if it was raining before this had fully aged. So anyway, the canvas has held up the best. I did have for a few years, a couple of random marks on the outside, on the back. What happened was I was carrying this on my shoulder. It was full down a flight of stairs that had on the walls that like rough plaster finish, like really bumpy rough. And it kind of, like shaved against the wall and it took paint off <laughs> when it did it luckily I had it back to front at the time and it kind of the, the, the white paint went into like all the, the dimples of the canvas and I tried everything to get it out I well I didn't try everything obviously so years later when I decided to, to give this bag a really good what's the word condition refurb I don't know I gave this bag a really good once over I managed to get it out with I've actually forgotten I think I used an eraser from memory 
like a uh, like a pencil eraser I think that that worked and if not it might have been a matter of getting really like because because the canvas if you haven't seen a Louis Vuitton canvas bag close up it's quite dimpled so it, all the paint got into the actually I think that's a leftover piece okay. kind of got into the tiny tiny grooves so for a while I had these sort of random white marks which was annoying I thought that was going to be there forever but I managed to get them out so that was really exciting and I think I actually found a video on YouTube that showed like how to restore these bags so anyway I followed that the other thing that I, I did was gave the leather a bit of a, a once over so I'll show you that now surprisingly I, I could compare I could show you another really old Louis Vuitton bag I have that the handles have gone really dark brown from oils and even with like restoring them slightly they was, are still quite dark so these are pretty good for like almost 14 years so that is the handles this is the back so I do have I have to stand up I do have a few marks here I can't get out I'm not sure where that I think these happened when they were on the plane like in checked baggage so there's a bit of age here but because the whole all the leather is quite dark it's very hard to tell from a distance and I think I kind of like the aging it gives it a bit of character it looks like it's been somewhere so that's the bottom The stitching is perfect, nothing's come undone. A few blemishes on the bottom there. I mean, that's the bottom, so that's going to happen, isn't it? And sides, I'll show you the strap last. So, this is the. Hello, B. Hi. There's Fluffy. <laughs> Come on, focus. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's focusing on the cats. It's not going to focus on my... I need to cover them up. Okay. So here's the, the Louis Vuitton stamp. Made in France. That one's got a bit of scuffing there and there. That's some hardware. Look how beautiful that hardware still is even the the loop hardware is pretty outstanding I must admit we should just show you this with my camera not on even that has held up like there's no separation like this d-ring attachment is wonderful that's got a bit of a few marks on it and the the metal has tarnished and kind of lost its shine I don't know if, about if, if you have one of these or you're looking at one of these or you've seen other videos or reviews but I imagine that this is the area that is the part that wears the most. These are pretty good. This is the tag. So I got my hot stamp. Even the, the buckle and the leather is still pretty good. It's quite soft now. This is actually showing a slight amount of wear on that corner. And a bit of staining or dark spots on the back. I mean, it's pretty good though, wouldn't you say? This is the back. The stitching is not, I've never had this repaired. The stitching hasn't come undone. And now I'll show you the lock. So I leave this on. I do tend to use it, that's why I leave it attached. I use it quite a bit. It's lost 
all of its shine it's not like this is the same lock that you get with a speedy they don't really they don't keep their shininess they tarnish and same with the zips it's the zip one of the zips the zip pulls it's got a bit of wear and tear like you can tell it's not beautiful but it isn't like black either bearing in mind I think this has only been cleaned properly once so it's like still pretty shiny so the center is pretty good in terms of the zip no issues whatsoever still beautiful if I take this out I'll bet the cats will run after it out of the way okay oh this is the what is this the handle thing I don't use this quite as often because I don't know I don't <laughs> oh, come on focus would you come on just ignore the cat <laughs> so I mean it's not as aged let's have a look oh I have found a thread right inside I've got a bit of staining on the code and slight wear on the hardware. This is the D ring. Inside, as in the, the canvas, isn't really, is in very good condition as well. Like it's, you, I don't think you've ever spilled anything in here. I think it's been wet before but like look at it it's you could almost say this is like new inside almost I think that's fluff that's fluff okay I found one issue and that is with it's not really an issue it's on this side you can see it immediately this is stitching and it's not loose well it is loose but it's not like causing any issues it's just come out and I'd imagine it's sort of like lifted a bit there maybe that's the end of the stitching and it gets tucked in I don't know I can trim that and then that's the last one bit of something happened here water damage I reckon from the zip seeping through when it wasn't fully then we have the strap the strap yeah I mean the best part about these bags is you know you can fold it down let me do it properly you can fold it down flat like so and I have done that once or twice in a suitcase when I've needed this at the destination but not on the journey so it's, it's literally one of the best pieces of luggage you can buy <sighs> or one of the best items from Louis Vuitton in my opinion if you travel at all yes this is heavy if it's full but so are a lot of bags and considering I've had this and I've traveled with this countless times I don't I couldn't tell you I don't know how many times I've traveled with this but like looking at how how well this is held up it's definitely paid for itself <laughs> so oh my god so fluffy is watching the tv <laughs> It's 
it's a fox. Anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying, forgotten. Let's do the strap. I have one complaint about this strap. Actually, I have two complaints. No, okay, I have three issues with this bag. The two of them with the strap. So I'll show you the, the condition of the strap first. So it's it's done, it's aged just as nicely, if not slightly more, um, what's the word, weather beaten. <laughs> you can see, I'll go back the other way. This has held up well. So this is the shoulder strap. I'm not sure if this has changed. This is what mine's like. A few splotches. I remember when they happened, I was gutted because this wasn't fully aged and it kind of left it mark, it was watermarks. Not fun. That is literally a seam. it's pretty good this doesn't really move much actually let's see if I can yeah it, you can sort of see where it stays when this is on the bag this that's meant to hold down you can see how easy that was that's meant to hold this down so I've got this on the shortest like this is how many holes there are and I have it on the shortest hole because I mean I'm tall I'm five foot ten so I have it on the shortest one because when it's heavy or it's full if it's below the waist it's kind of annoying like when you're walking I've tried it oh, no no right so I have a lot of leftover so this doesn't always stay down so, <laughs> no, it's lovely you're playing with the cord. Uh, <laughs> this is the part where like the whole thing crashes down. So when I've got this on, I usually have this at the back. If this is heavy and for some reason, this will just travel up and then this will just flap about. So that is like, cause this will be tight. So it'll be kind of flapping like this. So that is one minor annoyance that I have with this bag. The second thing I have is when this bag is full, it's quite heavy. This is like a double annoyance. It's heavy when it's full which is why I got the one that has the bandolier because they recommended that if it's bigger than a 45 and it's full, you're going to want this. I think you'd still want it with a 45 anyway, but these dig in to your shoulder, something shocking. I, like maybe it's rid ribbed so it stays <laughs> or it's like a, though one of those masseuse pair of masseuse sandals does, does anyone remember those comment below if you know what a masseuse sandal is showing my age slightly i think so yes heavy goodness gracious me she's a heavy bag and if you're traveling and you're walking through an airport and you've got hours to go or you're i don't know you're walking somewhere and you've got this bag and it's full be prepared for this to like it, it'll take its toll because it's heavy and it's weighing down on you and that's like that's the one annoying part about this bag is how heavy it can but, but that's the same with any bag that's big that's a shoulder bag that's full right if it's full it's heavy and it's kind of not designed for hiking for example <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
possibly a bad example. Anyway, so that is kind of the only really annoying things for me for this bag. Yeah. I don't know. What else do I need to tell you? I have occasionally had an airline, the one or two times I've had to check this in when flying, and they've put the bag tag through here, and they've put it, it's been like one of the ones that's sticky, and they've like, they haven't left any gap, they've like stuck it right hard up against this, and it did make this handle like a bit tacky when I took it off and that was kind of annoying obviously because it's flowy and you don't want a tacky handle so this is if this was full it would be a bit better to explain but this is my waist this is my butt like this is my butt here so it is at its highest point and I'm tall so if you're short this could be annoying I don't know um, I never use a crossbody because it's too big but if it didn't have much in it then sure why not um, I don't think it would work though because if it's full it would kind of stick out <laughs> I could barely get it across so That is, it's pretty good to get your arms through. Uh, yeah, so I think it's cut, it's aged well, the color looks beautiful. This is just exactly what I'm talking about. So, flapping about. Flappy flap. Then when you put the strap down, you get this. Which I feel like is annoying. And it looks like that so the only annoyance is because this is now aged really nicely and it's not that thick it's loosened up it doesn't stay down here annoyingly I mean it could go all the way down there but then it would that's the edge that's the bottom of the strap so it would barely hold it in place so I mean maybe a little a bit of elastic like a clear hairband would help fix that hold it there but you shouldn't have to do that right <sighs> that's it really that's how much she's aged she and I have been on a lot of adventures she's a hard worker when Judy calls and it's her time to shine she doesn't let me down Actually, I think I've even taken this to the beach when I was traveling. <laughs> I didn't leave it by itself, obviously, but... Uh, yes, so... If you've got any questions about how I take care of this bag, anything I didn't show you that you wish I had, please let me know. I'll put the details in the description about how much this cost me and how much it costs now, because I think that would be... It's quite interesting to see the, the price difference. This was... I think 1100 ish <laughs> this is a 50 bandolier at the time I was they recommended this size because it would fit in overhead cabin baggage like lockers and it does I don't know if a 55 would fit as comfortably comment below if you've got a 55 and you travel easily on planes if you've got any ways to get rid of all the, the marks that are on my bag, let me know. I'd love to know uh, if there's a solution. Please say hi in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And, oh, Fluffy, come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just looked at me and I was like, no. Um, did I miss anything? So, yes. Yeah. I'll see if I can find some photos of me with this bag. Otherwise, I hope this was useful to you. If you're thinking about getting one of these bags, I cannot recommend it enough. I've never once regretted this purchase and I would happily buy another one if this one was lost or damaged. It would need to absolutely need to be replaced. Uh, yes, but you won't get lost. It's okay. <laughs> 
please check out my channel and some of my other videos. I will put some links up here. I make videos for luxury fashion, lifestyle, beauty, hair, and a bit of travel. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful or enjoyable or relevant. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.